Today we're taking a look at some of the improvements in the NR52 840 device, which is the latest addition to the NR52 family from Nordic Semiconductor. This chip comes with several new features, such as a USB controller and a quad SPI interface for connecting external memory. Radio improvements include the addition of 802.15.4 support, increased output power and a low bitrate radio mode for increased range. Today we're going to focus on the improved radio performance and see how the increased output power and receiver sensitivity affects the line of sight range. To test this we have connected GPS receivers to two development kits, allowing us to record the absolute position of each kit. One kit will transmit the GPS position periodically, while the other one is set to receive the packet and calculate the distance relative to its own GPS coordinates. This information will then be passed on to a PC connected over USB, allowing us to record the distance as the kits are moved about. Uh, since we don't have any sufficiently large open spaces around the office to do a proper line of sight test, we decided to pack up our equipment and go for a little drive. So here we are at this beautiful location outside of Trondheim, where we can do some line of sight testing without anyone getting in the way. For comparison, we will first do a test with the default bitrate and output power used on the NRA52832. In the first test we went to a distance of 125 meters, which is close to the limit for the NRA52832 device. The next step is to see what is possible once we take advantage of the improved output power and sensitivity of the 52840. Since I forgot my skis at home, we have got some help from Andre and his drone to test the extended range of the latest and greatest NRA52840. Yeah. The drone is now uh, beyond the point uh, where I ran earlier. We still have a uh, link. Still getting packets. 250 meters. 250 meters. Mine is 90, 600 meters. I think uh, Andre is uh, afraid to lose his drone, so uh, <laughs> you will uh, fly back now, but we are at 600 meters. I cannot see the drone. And the RSSI is still. Yeah, the RSSI is uh, minus 85 dB. Andre has agreed to do another test where we will go even further out than the previous one, but still within line of sight. 600 meters. 650. 700. Yeah. 750 Where is that? 770 meters Here We are heading home now The results of the tests were promising and we were able to reach the limits of the drone range with some signal to spare With more than 12 dB of margin between the incoming signal and sensitivity limit of the receiver communication should be possible at ranges four times as high as those achieved in this test. In an urban environment we would naturally expect a shorter range because of obstacles and interference, but we should still see a significant improvement over existing solutions. So please stay tuned for more videos from Nordic and thank you for watching.